today happens to be my birthday. I decided instead of posting a part, I should give back to the community. I should give back to the people that elected back into power. I've been doing it, but let me come on board. Let me come to the public so that people will see what we are doing. And I'm very glad that people smile for the face of people. I am happy. I'm trying to make people happy too. And that's what I have achieved. Today, 13th of May, my group, the new band group, is 20 years I started. I decided to form the group to train people to have interest in governance. I don't believe in putting square square figures around oak. I will I have been I have been my credit, I have commissioners, I have regular commissioners that came out from my group and I believe once we are going others will have interest in listening to us that governance is not about noise making. Governance is about having the interest, having the potential, having the ability to govern the people, having a record to give back an account for revenue and catered to it. And that's what I have been doing. I have numerous councillors coming up for the new goal group, new goal of 20. I am very happy. I know if I leave the state or I step aside, I have capable hands to continue the legacy I'm leaving behind. And I sincerely appreciate all the training that they have been for giving us the portal to stand on, to stand down, to step on and equally an opportunity to start to let people notice that we have the interest of the people we can deliver we are delivering and we we'll continue to deliver okay sir can you quickly tell us sir how you went into politics what was the attraction how many years ago and this how did you see at that time i have been i started politicking in the year 1982 i was a minor but i was actively involved in the 1983 general election I was a counting, pulling agent and counting officer, as we are then called under the Federal Electoral Commission, obey with me. And as since then, I have been contributing my quota to the APC, Unity Party of Nigeria. Unity Party of Nigeria then. But because I believe we have to be prepared to govern, I am not a professional politician. I am a technocrat in my own right. I know and it's my belief that if you want to govern, you must have a stable mind. You must have a source of income to sustain yourself. I don't come here. That's why they call me um, gentle giant, um, or whatever, because I don't look at what people are doing and focus on what I want to do, how I want to do it. I am natural with myself. And people have come to terms with the way I do my things. I want people to know that when you have a source of living, your concentration, your ability to give back, your ability to take concrete decisions will come from that. You will not be looking at what you are getting, you will be looking at what you can give back. This is what I have got. I am going to go. I can I have saved for it. If I want to hold an elaborate party, I will equally it safe. So instead of putting that into merriment, this is another form of merriment that the people will appreciate and they appreciate it, have capable hands to organize it. They are doing what they know how to do. They are doing the best they can do. And they are the people I have been nurturing. They are the new gun group, my group, 20 years, still counting. And I can sleep when I have them doing things for me. And that is what I believe. Other political aspirants to look at it. Find people that have your same opinion, same mind with you, that are ready to work your work, that are ready to do what you want, and you can be at rest to concentrate on other things. What keeps you doing in politics? What, each time you sleep, you wake up, what sustains you? In politics, once you have a focus, you want to be the best. You want to be the best. We now start looking at people of like minds. We have um, Ashwa Dibola Ahmed Tunumbu. He's a man who not down, he stands up, he insults, he does not look at him. If he has a tough skin and he keeps going, those of us that are ready to learn 
we you have to be ready to learn, you have to know this is a mentor, this is somebody I can use, I build, I can follow. Then you now out of nowhere look at my local government, through the local government, and pick whenever I do I think some that are there now, and started rearing. I call it mentoring. And I think that the Amila has a legal mind, a photographic mind, because he remembers this. You cannot lie to him. And he equally, I took after He looks at people, this one is not after money, let me bring him on board, let me teach him what to do, how to do it. And the others, he gain from his gains, his experience. Once he comes on, he has a meeting with his people and he tell you, to be the best, you have to do this, you have to do that. And I start cleaning from him. You have um, Raji Fashola, fantastic young man who started transformation, a very technical person. He is a lawyer, but he is a technical person. He is a very fantastic agitator, and he performed wonderfully well when he was God not able to. And together, we started and we started building on the legacy they leave behind. One of the tragedies I did, the former chairman, I was surprised they came, but he has come and I really appreciate his calling. He took on the out of his incapacitated, he still performed wonderfully well. So, when you have people like that, you have people to borrow from, people to steal ideas from, people to look at their legacy and say, I want to be like him. I want to do more than he has done. So that's, that's what keeps people You should have a focus, to have a goal. So people will see you, people will associate with you, and you will have a way down things. That's what has kept me there. When you were coming your close relationship with uh, the chairman, and of course, when you spoke a few years ago, you called him your brother, your father, your family. Yes. What's, what's, how do you do it? How was the logic? What's the <laughs> formula? Yes. Which, uh, like I told you, I started in 1982 as an all looker. Okay. But I know what I want. I know how to do about it. To have a peaceful, clear, habitual tenure, you have to be fair with your principal. I was very fortunate to be the secretary to the local government under Honorable Kajibu Nigeria. And my chairman was then the vice chairman. So I had the opportunity to see and understand the limits of the functionality and power of the vice chairman when I was SLG. And since I was nominated to be the vice chairman. I know my limits and I stay within that conference. I for never for one try to outshine my my principal, the chairman. And whenever there is any issue, I go to him when people are gone. I will stay five o'clock and say, oh, God, I'm telling you come here. and he'll tell me his own faction of the story. I, I am not always point that you must sit me down and tell me the little bit of how the council is being governed. Yeah. If I sit with him and the council treasurer and the CM comes in, I stand up. Ah, but I said, okay, no, let me go and attend to people in my office. That is a way of giving him the privacy to, to then discuss with the officers without my being there. Because if I sit down, they will talk but there will be limitation to what they will say. There are some things yeah. that are not for me, no matter how close I am with the chairman. And I know that the, the financial aspect of the local government is within the chairman, the CM, and the CM. And once the work of the stuff, I stand up. That is where the relationship comes in. He knows the vice chairman will not look at what we are doing, but with what he I am proving to know. You know that I would say, I want to know if you are feeling why are you doing this? And for three years, like we said, the first attendee, we are the chairman and his vice, we will not have one single fracture. No, there will be no fracture that cannot be fracture. It will be three years, and I promise my people I will be his vice 
will not have any issue with your career for three years. I have done that for the My last question is that for those who continue to complain about how the country is, about the president, and ah, he's not doing what, what, what's your what advice to them? Uh, yes, we are in government. It is continuity, it is all and compassion. When you come to me to talk about the president, some people will say, ah, I don't know, they might be a politician, that's why you are talking like this. But no, I have an insight into what is happening. I know what they don't know. I know how those work. Uh, when people hear the council has been giving one billion, they believe the one billion is coming to the pocket of the chair and the eyes of the new. We have a lot of projects that we are paying the contractors instrumentally. We tell them this is not, you have seen what you ought to see, but what you see is not what is really happening. This is how it is. And to a very large extent, too, I cannot go within my limits in diverging. Ah, that money you believe is money. This is how we spend it. No, I'll just wrap it up and tell them we are doing our best. The chairman is doing his best. The governor is doing his best. And the president is superb. And sincerely, the man is superb. The country has been on a turnaround since it came in. We cannot see the effect immediately. But with time, people will start appreciating what he is doing. What's your profession? I'm a consultant on protocol and management, immigration consultant. That's what I do. My office is on Moloni Street. I've been there for 34 years. And I'm in politics to try to give back to my people, to try to see if I can make a difference. And in politics, we must have patience. I'm not in too much of a hurry to overthrow my anger. He will, he will do his tenure. I may be the next governor, I may be the next deputy governor, I may be made a minister. It's my not my limitation is not limited to local government. And I know that I know I can expand, I know I can grow, I know I can do better than where I am. And by the grace of God, I will continue if I cannot talk. I I have never for once stayed in one place. Even if it's just a step. I keep moving, and for the glory of God, that's what we are trying to do.